Hey guys, welcome back to Greg Studio. Um, I just wanted to make a, a quick video to show you guys something that's been coming in really useful for me a lot lately. Um, and that is putting a timer like this on a video. Um, you can use it for food challenges, that's pretty cool. Or you could also use it for, say, say you're driving a car or a motorbike and you want to show people how fast your car goes, not to 60. You could add that into the clip. Yeah, let's quickly jump into it and show you how to make a timer. So, when you're putting a timer in, this is so useful. What you would do is you would go to the bit where you want to put in your timer. Right, so say I want to add a timer to this clip here, right? What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the text, drag it down here. Uh, because I wanted to count all the way to the end of this clip here, and it drag the text file all the way to the end of the clip. And that way it counts the whole part of that clip, okay? So what I do now is I click on the text bit, okay? And then I go up here, and I del delete the text, yeah? Okay, then I go back to my clip, click on it, right click, new compound clip, type that, create. Okay, so now it's a compound clip. And then I go down to my wee fusion bit here, yeah? A fusion bit is right here. Click there. Okay. Okay, so I'm in the fusion bit now, right? I'm on the clip that I want it to be on, okay? So what I do is I click the T and shift on the keyboard at the same time. Drag it down. This line becomes blue and yellow, then I drop it. This then gives me this text box here. I click the text box with the left mouse key. Go up to this box here above my head. Left click that. Then right click it. Go to time code, and this will give me the time code, and this will give me the uh, the clock that I need for counting down how long this clip lasts for. I can move it by clicking these little arrows. So this one point and right will go left and right. This one here will go up and down. I put it up here. I don't like the color because it doesn't stand out. So I'll click color, click black so it stands out better. Click OK, much better. I go back to my little edit bit here. And then it should. Yep. Perfect. And then that'll give me the time for the end of the clip. And that's it. That's how you add a timer to your video. It's pretty simple, eh? But it's super handy. Like, I will be using it a lot on Beyond Spice. So I'm going to upload a video to Beyond Spice tomorrow. So if you want to check that out, click on the little pepper at the end. I'm also thinking of making a video for this channel tomorrow where I make a list of my favourite YouTube channels of 2019. So if you want to see that, let me know in the comments and I'll get that done. Cool. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks. There will be more editing tutorials coming up. Uh, a lot, lot more. So yeah, feel free to like, subscribe and all that. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you later.